Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today will be a very important video on this channel, not only because it's video number 50 that I publish on this channel, but because I will publish my roadmap for Python for beginners, my version of the roadmap. Because I've seen quite a lot of roadmaps and learning paths for Python, but I didn't like most of them. Let's take a look. If you Google Python roadmap and search for images, most of the roadmaps are not really for beginners because either they are overwhelming with too many branches and options trying to list everything that is possible, or they are stopping only on Python as a language, as a syntax, without listing practical use cases or projects or application or specializations and none of the roadmaps publicly I've seen add learning resources or links where do I get that information so you need to separately google each topic like stats and probability or pandas or in this case for example machine learning or deep learning and stuff like that but what beginners really need is the path step by step that they should follow they don't really need to know about month 8 cv nlp and deep learning while they are at the very beginning that's why it's called road map when you look at the map like if you need to drive somewhere you don't need all the 19 possible roads. You need the best one and you need to know the next turns, the next roads for the upcoming minutes. Only then later the map should show you the next steps, right? Now, I'm not saying that those roadmaps are not useful. I just think they are overwhelming or on the other side of the spectrum, underwhelming and useless sometimes. So I prepared my version because the first goal the first milestone for any junior or beginner developer is to get the first job or the first paid project or unpaid project but basically deliver something practically useful so this is the first milestone and goal which i prepared the roadmap for again it's my version it's not ideal maybe you have suggestions then shoot in the comments below or email me here's the email on the screen and I can improve that. So let's go step by step. First part is Python fundamentals. This is where you learn the syntax of the language, like it would be any programming language, PHP, Java, C++, or something else. You need to learn the basic syntax, which is basically about the same thing. Variables, operators, how to name things, how to run the program and stuff like that. And there's a gazillion of resources to learn Python 101, but for each topic, I try to pick just a few best, in my opinion, links, including links from our own Python ML Daily, and all the resources are free in this list. So for beginners, I suggest our own course if you are coming from PHP background like myself, or video from Programming with Mosh on YouTube, or Learning Path from Real Python website. This is Python fundamentals that you need to learn no matter what specialization you choose later. And let's talk about that specialization. This is pretty important in Python because when I get asked how to learn Python, I often re-ask back which part or which use case of the Python you want to learn. Because on top of the syntax of the main language, there are very different use cases. Do you want to create data science projects, machine learning, web development, or something else? For each of those branches, there are separate libraries which you can dive deeper into and then never look back on other branches. So in here, I suggest to choose. And these are the options that I suggest. There are more options and maybe something I've missed here, but I've tried to pick the most popular ones. So data science is one option. I've seen quite a lot of practical projects just on data transformation, data automation, data manipulation and stuff like that and for that python has libraries like pandas like numpy and then for visual representation matplotlib and seaborn and a few more of course and here are the learning resources courses and videos and learning paths that i suggest here so data science may be actually a fundamental thing if you want to dive deeper into machine learning and ai stuff because in all of those use cases, you will need to fundamentally work with data, with pandas data frames, with Python lists and tuples and sets and dictionaries. So you need to learn how to manipulate those, which will help you to get jobs and projects in data science specifically, 
or as a part of bigger other projects, which may be, for example, AI and machine learning. And here I have option two and option three, which are kind of related. So ML here machine learning and ML here. But the fundamental difference is what you want to do. You want to use off the shelf third party ready-made models like large language models and the whole world is talking about open ai chat gpt llama models and things are changing almost every week in that world so one of the options what you can do with python next is to use those off-the-shelf models and build stuff like chatbot like matching the texts here i have cv job matching experiment or work with pdfs and images and transform that into text and then process that and again the fundamental thing behind that is data science because those libraries will give you the data and then you need to transform that data into actual final result so in this case there's not that much about python it's more about diving deeper into those libraries and apis for llms with some python under the hood similar option for machine learning but from the other angle building those models not using the existing ones actually you can do both and in some projects it may be both in one project so you will use something then tune it then build your own model on top and the final result will be from both worlds but if you want to build your own machine learning models it's a whole new big world and here you need to learn algorithms and libraries and some math is required and then it depends on how deep you want to go again as this roadmap is for beginners i listed the resources for beginners mostly and we have a few of our own like course for intro to machine learning and if you want to go advanced you will likely reach this level only months or even years later so i didn't put the links here but i just listed the topics and then another final option that i've listed here is web development on this channel and on python ml daily website i don't focus on web development intentionally because i come from php background and laravel framework which i think is still the best choice for web projects of course it's personal preference but this is just my background so i intend not to focus on web development in here but it's still a viable and very popular option if you want to dive into python and create web projects with that and again there are a few libraries and frameworks like flask like django and others and i found a few resources around that but then it could be a mix for example you may want to create your machine learning model and as our tutorial says you want to publish that model as api or as a web page so for that you need to learn a framework like flask for example so yeah this is my roadmap for beginners and have you noticed one pattern throughout all of those options basically in my experience and in my opinion python is not about python as a language itself but mostly about using libraries so the final projects of python is usually take this library use its result with another library and then build some kind of a pipeline of libraries then play with the parameters options and versions of those libraries to get the final result so that's why i advise to specialize if you want to go into building your machine learning models you will need to learn a certain set of libraries for web development there's totally separate set of libraries and so on but whichever you pick the goal should be practical projects so these tutorials are mostly about fundamentals but as soon as you get to those fundamentals i do advise to create your own practical projects like on our python ml daily both on website and on youtube we're trying to focus on using libraries with practical projects ideally from some job board like upwork or elsewhere for example ask the database of cars this was real project from upwork and this is actually the plan what i'm going to do next on this channel and on this website i'm planning to build a library of practical projects so there will be a, probably a separate section here on top like practical projects or something like that so the beginners would get not only the theoretical knowledge with course about syntax but also prepare for real life projects as soon as possible so they would get paid jobs or paid projects so yeah this is my vision for roadmap for beginners specifically if there's something i missed or something you disagree with i'm happy to improve this shoot in the comments below or email me pavelas at pythonmldaily.com and subscribe to the channel to get 
more updates on this roadmap in the future with practical projects that I mentioned. That's it for this time and see you guys in another video.